Hello friends, this is Robert J. Morgan, the author of a set of books about the remarkable history of our great Christian hymns and songs, Then Sings My Soul, book one, book two, and book three. Each one of these books tells the story of 150 different hymns. We have the words and the music on one side and the story behind the hymn on the other side. And the stories are so fascinating. And in these books, you can learn stories behind hymns like How Firm a Foundation Ye Saints of the Lord and Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound and Just As I Am Without One Plea and Praise Ye the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation. I think it's very important for us to retain these hymns because over the past few years, I've been alarmed at how quickly we have lost or narrowly lost 4,000 years of biblical and Christian hymnody in one fleeting generation. I do love many of the modern worship songs. Their exuberance keeps my praise and my worship fresh. I certainly don't want to lose those because every era needs its own music corresponding to its common experiences and its cultural environment. But something terrible has happened in the Western Church. Almost overnight, congregations have abandoned the multi-millennial heritage of our music, hymns passed down through the ages, which represent a wealth of theological and devotional material unrivaled by any other faith or factions. The hymns are simply vanishing. They've been replaced by songs, again, some of them very good, which for whatever reason tend to have a limited shelf life. They are often driven by commercial forces, one song pushing another out the door, fighting for its place on the charts until little of enduring value remains for longer than a few months or perhaps for a year or two. The short duration of today's Christian music, coupled with the loss of the hymns, means that younger believers are no longer developing a lifelong canon of psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to sustain them through the pilgrimage of life. Let me speak personally. I learned a rich handful of hymns in my mother's arms as I was growing up. I sang them all through my childhood, all of my life, and I may well sing them on my deathbed, Lord willing. In other words, they have been a lifelong legacy to me. I've sung them periodically for 65 years. But in today's church, the disposable nature of our music makes it difficult to establish a lifelong, lifetime soundtrack for our souls. That's why I want to help us revive the great hymns of the faith in our churches and in our homes. Along those lines, we want to make this series of books, Then Sings My Soul, as accessible and available and affordable as possible. Wouldn't it be great to provide copies for your church staff, your worship pastor, for young musicians, for loved ones, for older friends, but also for younger ones and for yourself? In doing so, you will be passing along 4,000 years of biblical and Christian hymnody with all of its richness and reassurance. Please look for these resources at your favorite bookstore or book distributor and join me in waging a vigorous campaign to rescue our vanishing hymns.